Blossom. I'm from Cosmicada.com and today I'd like to talk about three quick tips to improving um, accuracy of your drawings if you're drawing for accuracy. So I'm um, actually working on a pretty accurate looking pelvis right now, which is my example for this uh, video. And so my first tip for drawing for accuracy is to grid your page. See, I've done this. Um, it helps keep things centered as you're drawing and it helps give you like a continuous perspective of the distance between you know the middle and the size of your page or maybe if you've uh, actually measured your subject it'll give you a better example of where you are in relation to that and it helps also prevent problem I had early on which was say I started drawing something and then I was drawing this way and this way and then all of a sudden I would just run out of room. That doesn't happen if you've got a grid going on because you've got a really good exact perspective. The second thing that I've just finished doing is when you get to a point in your drawing where you feel pretty good about how it looks, you know, like I feel really good about this one so far, um, step away, walk away. Or if you're confused or frustrated about, you know, where you are and um, how to fix something, if something just doesn't quite look right, then that's my second tip. Is just walk away, get some fresh eyes on it, uh, refocus your reality, and, and every 20 minutes or so it's good for your eyes to take a break and look at something really far away. So even if you're just not able to get away from it, maybe you're a student and you're trying to work on an assignment with a deadline, you know, you can always just look at it and then look away to something really distant for... 20 seconds or so and then back to your page and you'll get a different perspective. And then my third tip is turn it upside down. So maybe if something doesn't feel right or maybe if I'm ready to ink but I just need to double check that it's right, I turn it upside down and I look at it again and I turn, if I've got a reference photo, I turn my reference photo upside down also so I can kind of look at the two and, and then I'm able to pick out what seemed off about it in the first place. Yeah, so those are some three quick tips on drawing something for accuracy, and uh, hopefully that helps you out. Happy arting!